In this video, we'll be taking a look at organising our team in F-Track Studio. In the System Settings, I'll go to the Users and Groups page. Here, I can create a new user. If I click the Send Invite button, the user receives an email with a link to set up their account, set their name and password, and proceed to launch F-Track Studio. Alternatively, I can set up the account manually. I'll disable the invitation email and fill in the user details for them. In the user list, I can see the newly created user's details, including her role, which has been set to the default, user. Double clicking opens the edit window where I can change the username, which was set to her email address by default. I can choose whether she needs to log in with two factor authentication and set any custom attributes which apply to users. I can also edit her role, which controls her permissions. Here we can see she's been given the default role, user, with access to all open projects. Now I'll split the screen and log into F-Track Studio as my new user, Jane, in the browser on the right. Note how Jane only sees a subset of the menus I see in the browser on the left. This is due to our different roles. Here we can see that my role is set to Administrator. In the Roles page, we can inspect and edit the Administrator role settings. All permissions are enabled, giving me access to all menus in F-Track. The role User denies access to some of these menus, which is why Jane can't see them. User is a project type role, which allows access to specified projects, in this case, all open projects. Project type roles are usually given to producers. I'll edit Jane's user settings, turn off access to all open projects, and add explicit access to just one project. Now she sees only that project in the projects list, but has full access to all of its data. Now I'll edit Jane's user, remove her user role, and give her the restricted user role, which is typically given to artists, and will only give them access to their assigned tasks on the My Tasks page. When I assign a task to Jane, it appears in her task list, and she receives a notification. Groups allow us to organise our users by team. I'll create a group and add some users to it. Groups can be assigned to objects such as shots or sequences so that they can all receive notifications on them. Groups can also be used for filtering data. In this example, in the Users overview, I can see the schedule for all users. I'll add a filter on Groups and select my newly created group to narrow down my dataset. Now we'll take a look at adding users to private projects, which are hidden from all users unless they're explicitly invited. I'll create a project and make it private. Artie, the user on the right, can't see the new project because it's private. I'm the only one who can see the private project because I created it. In the Tasks page, I'll open the Team menu and edit Project Access. I'll add Artie as a user to my project in order to reveal it to him. Finally, we'll take a look at Account Settings. My user is currently using the Legacy sidebar. In order to change that, I'll open the Account Settings menu where I can set my own preferences such as Account Details, Date Format, Landing Page and Language. I'll enable the new sidebar as my preference.